Hi again everyone. <clears throat> Last night's story ended a little funny, sorry about that, because uh, a phone call came in and I paused the video, but then when I went back on again, it had stopped. So I had to edit it a little bit and you didn't get your Bible story. But anyhow, new start tonight, so that's the explanation for the very funny end when it was like, ah, oh, Mrs. Cochran's gone or Yvonne's gone. Okay. Harry McCleary's Caterwall Caper. Caterwall Caper. Wow. I think it's got something to do with squirrels? No, cats. Okay. I wonder if I go like this and see if I can do it like this. Okay. With a twitch of his tail and a purposeful paw down by the river crept Scarface Claw. Hmm. At the in the right place. He woke up a lizard, he startled a bee, and he bothered a blackbird high in a tree. Whoa! Sorry. Higher and higher he sneakily snuck, but up in the branches he suddenly stuck. Rawr, he yelled. Uh oh. That would not be comfortable. Harry McCleary was eating his meal, jelly meat, biscuits, a snippet of veal. All of a sudden he heard a strange sound, a yowling, a wailing that echoed around. Rawr, rawr. Yep, 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 said Harry McCleary, and off he went. Off to the rescue. Hercules Morse was asleep in a glade with his tail in the sun and his head in the shade. Then came a sound that echoed around. Row, row, woof, said Hercules Morse, and off he went. Bottomly Potts was rolling about with his feet in the air and his tongue hanging out. Then came the sound that echoed around. Row, roo, 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 said Bottomly Potts, and off he went. Muffin McClay was having a bath in the old wooden tub at the side of the path. Then came the sound that echoed around. Row, roof, roof, said Muffin McClay, and off he went. Blitzer Maloney was having a scratch as he lay in the sun in the strawberry patch. Then came the sound that echoed around. Row, row, bow, wow, 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 said Blitzer Maloney, and off he went. Snitzel von Crumb was digging a hole in his favourite spot by the passion fruit pole. Then came the sound that echoed around. Row, row. Yip, yip, said Snitzel von Crumb, and off he went. Puffing and panting, impatient to see, together they came to the foot of the tree. They sniffed and they snuffed. They bustled around and they saw what was making that terrible sound. Oh, there he goes, stuck in the tree. Mm. Yip, yip, said Snitzel von Crumb. Bow, wow, 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 said Blitzer Maloney. Roof, roof, said Muffin McClay. Roo, 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 said Bottomly Potts. Woof, said Hercules Morse. Yip, 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 said Harry McCleary. And... said Scarface Claw. The din was so awful that up hill and down you could hear the cacophony all over town. There's an awesome word, cacophony. Miss Plum brought a ladder and climbed up a tree. She rescued old Scarface. At last he was free. 
I wonder if she got scratched. With a flick of his tail and a shake of each paw, off at a gallop went Scarface Claw. And back to their business and Donaldson's dairy went all the others with Harry McCleary. Wow, that was a cool story. And I've sussed out how to turn that page around so you can enjoy the pictures while I'm reading. So that's pretty cool. Tomorrow night it is Harry McCleary's show business. So let's look forward to that one, eh? Cool, so let's see where we're up to here. And last night I started to do this, but I didn't get it done at all. So I'll show you the picture. Here we go. And it's called The Holy Spirit Came. Remember that Jesus has ascended to heaven and he promised that his, he would send his helper. So this is from Acts 2 verses 1 to 4 and 22 to 27 if you want to find that in the Bible. On the day of Pentecost, Jesus' disciples were gathered together in Jerusalem. All of a sudden, a sound came from heaven. It was like strong rushing wind and it filled the whole house where Jesus' disciples were staying. When then tongues appeared like flames of fire and they rested on each of the disciples. The disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in different languages. Now Jews were living in Jerusalem who had come from every nation. These men heard the sounds and then gathered in a crowd. The men heard voices in their own languages and they were amazed. How could these men from Galilee speak so many different languages? But some of the men doubted and said they've had too much to drink. But I don't think that would be right. Peter stood up and said, pay attention, I will tell you what is happening. Peter gave a speech and reminded the people of something the prophet Joel had said a long, long time ago. God says, I will pour out my spirit on all humanity. I will show you wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So the question here for you is, who is the Holy Spirit? Peter said, God pointed out to you Jesus the Nazarene. You saw miracles and wonders and signs that God did through Jesus. Even though God planned for Jesus to die, you used lawless people to nail him to the cross and to kill him. But death did not hold Jesus. God raised him from the dead. Then Peter said, you have seen the truth. Jesus is alive. He went up to heaven to be with God the Father. Do not doubt this. Peter continued, God has made Jesus whom you killed on the cross both Lord and Messiah. The Holy Spirit convinced the people that Peter was telling the truth. What must we do to be saved, they asked. Peter told the people to repent. That means to say you're really sorry. To turn away from their sins and to turn to God. God will forgive your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in the name of Jesus, he said. Everyone who believed Peter's message was baptized, and that day, about 3,000 people joined Jesus' followers. They learned what Jesus' disciples taught, and they met with other believers every day. They broke bread together, and they prayed. God kept his promise to send the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit's help, Jesus' disciples could begin their work to share the gospel with the entire world. God gives the Holy Spirit to those who trust in Jesus as their Lord and Saviour. The Holy Spirit gives us power to do God's work and he changes us to become more like Jesus. So there, I hope you've enjoyed the two stories tonight and uh, I hope you've had a good day and continue to work hard at home, do the schoolwork that you're meant to do and help mum and dad or whoever's looking after you. And, uh, yeah, take care. Bye.